welcome to Sociology. My name's Kerry and this is my channel. So I just wanted to jump in quickly and just um, say what I've been doing lately. But first, um, I just want to thank everybody for doing the uh, poll, P-O-L-L, however you say it, um, on what you like best from your sewing videos, like what you like to watch best. And um, I apologize, I was wrong from my last post. You do like doing sewy catch-ups and hauls and only a small percentage like sew along. So I'll put up the stats there. Okay, so the other thing I would like to apologize for is the video I put out today, which is um, Sunday the 16th. Um, apologies for that. I know there was a lot of flickering in the video and it's because I accidentally recorded it in slow-mo. And then when I adjusted the speed on um, the editing software I use, CapCut, um, it didn't catch up and... Um, yeah, that's why there's lights flickering. It's something to do with the frames. I don't really understand the technicalities of it. But um, I did contact CapCut and I did schedule the video to go out. But I didn't realise it went out today. So, whoops. I was hoping to get more feedback from CapCut before I actually put it out. But anyway, it's out now. And um, if I do find a solution to stop it flickering, I will maybe re re-upload it if I can get rid of the flickering but you know feel free not to watch it <laughs> um, it is very annoying um, and I've got a lot of sarcasm in the video because of um, I don't know I think I probably spoke too much it, it was that was more like my rumblings to myself making the sloper block um, like I said I never liked pattern cutting in a previous video um, and I said in this video, if you even got that far about my lecturer sat next to me and made me do my huge woolen coat patterns that I did. I did the alternative the fur coat. I was very passionate about not using fur even back in the 90s. And um, yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I decided to do these huge coats and the patterns for them were just ridiculously big and I hated it. I still don't like pattern cutting um, but I am trying to get over my fear by trying to do some of these sloper blocks and um, Rachel at Stitched Up really <laughs> made me think okay so let, let's have another go and as you know I watch The Closet Historian and she's got a really good videos but she uses a different pattern tracing um, block book she used when she went to fashion school and I really I was trying to get hold of that but I couldn't get it in the libraries in Australia I got the draping one which unfortunately doesn't give you the basic block to make first uh, it's all about doing it on the stand it's a good book but um, it's not what I was looking for so I might try and find a copy on eBay or something but they're very expensive to buy um, I mean I could watch Bianca's video again and stop stop you know in different places and change her measurements to my measurements and try that way but yeah I just find the whole process so confusing and boring and <laughs> this is why I don't like pattern cutting and but I but something in me really wants to be able to make my own patterns and not rely on you know commercial patterns then yeah so I don't know um, I got as far as making the toile, which is the video will come out after that. And that's, uh, I've done that like a silly black and white video. You'll see it anyway. Anyway, um, so yeah, I don't know how much further I'll go with that one. <laughs> but, um, anyway, back to this video. So this video, um, as you see, I'm not in my sewing room. In the holidays, unfortunately, my child takes over the room because it's also a computer room slash sewing room. So she loves playing games on the computer, so she's in there all the time. And then at night, it's a bit late. Sometimes I do them at night when everyone's gone to bed, but sometimes it's too late. Uh, anyway, so I just thought um, I'll just have a drive out to where I live and um, park up. You probably cannot see... Behind me, somewhere down there, is the sea. Um, sorry for my um, Aldi carry bag in the back there. 
<laughs> um, but anyway, so I thought I'd just do a quick catch up now while I've got the time and I can. Um, it's a very nice day today, actually, in uh, on the Bellarine Peninsula. It's very windy. We're getting the back end of Cyclone Isla, which um, the Northern Territory and Western Australia have had. Um, it did get downgraded to a Category 3, but I believe it's back to a Category 5 up in Northern Territory. So um, I hope everybody up there is okay. So we're getting like some back end of it. So it is, it is windy here. Um, we've had a lot of rain recently, but it's actually with the aircon off in the car now, it's very hot. The sun's out. So anyway, so back to what I was doing. Can you remember my, was it my Make 9? Possibly my Make 9 or even a video before that. Um, and I notice I'm not the only person that does this. that say they're going to make things and they haven't made them. Um, so I feel better. But anyway, um, I was going to make the Whitney raincoat. So can you remember that? I'll put it up here so you can um, have a look what that looked like. Well, after that, I um, get a magazine called Love Sewing. And I get it on subscription through my school. And uh, I, I get it because you get lots of free patterns and it's great for the students to use. But I saw just in the back of it, um, a girl called Amy Scar. She um, has made a pattern called the Simplicity 8843 Hooded Jacket. Um, and this is what she made. And this is exactly what I've been trying to trying to make. Um, you know, I went on about the Gorman jackets that I really like, the Australian Gorman jacket. Um, I really wanted to do something like that because um, when the full price, they're, they're quite expensive at this time and this time of the uh, climate. Um, so I saw this and I thought, oh, that's perfect. I wonder what pattern that is. And then when she said, when they said it was this, I looked it up and I've actually looked at this one before. See, but because it had this draw cord in, it used to put me off. Um, but she's done it without the draw cord in and I love it. It's really good. I mean, I would probably put the panel down the front still because I like a, it'll be tricky and not won't be good to do, but... Um, yeah, so she's done it with the zip down and the pockets, the flat pockets with the, the I forget what they're called. Oh my goodness. Um, I'll put it here. And But she's just done the zip. Now, I've cut out the pattern for the zip, um, but I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do view A. I think I'm going to do view A um, because I like that flat down i think it's just an extra bit of uh protection from the zip when it's raining so it doesn't leak in because the fabric i've got which there was the marimekko one i'll put that up here as well just to show you uh the marimekko one um doesn't have any coating on it i don't think i don't remember anyway that's how long i've had it and i looked at it um so um yeah i need to start looking at that um but i really don't want to cut into it so what i did i went to kmart and i bought a shower curtain uh look at these lovely little shell ones they do have ones with like woodland like a rainforest type pattern as well on it um i don't think i'll have enough for one it's only one curtain but um i'm gonna try and cut that out and see if i what i need and how much i need more if I need more of it, I think I probably will need another curtain, but um, I just thought I didn't want to ruin the actual fabric because it's so lovely. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have a go at doing it in the in um, this shower curtain first. So, yep, just I mean, it's, it, it probably won't even be Oh, it, it might be a wearable twirl, but not in the rain. I don't think might be a bit sweaty, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it's it's. Um, yeah, it's very thin and obviously it's just shower curtain, so it's going to get wet and it's not going to protect me. But, you know, I don't know, maybe it'll be a wearable twirl or maybe, maybe it'll be a complete disaster. But the main thing is it won't be a disaster on my actual fabric because this is the reason 
obviously why we do twall. As in my last video, the twall. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to have a go at that when I eventually can get back into my sewing room. When it's not being overtaken by a small person. Actually, she's not that small anymore. She's like up to here on me now. As she keeps pointing out, smacking me in the face when she tells me. Kids are, huh? oh, no respect these days. Yes, so that's a really quick update on what I've been up to. And I'm going to follow up with another video about my sewing plans for pajamas because um, Victoria is now, we're in autumn, we've had our daylight savings and um, although we've got a couple of nice warm days coming up this week, we are heading into our cooler days. Um, so yeah, it's starting to get cool at night. So it's nice and warm still in the day, but it gets cool at night. Uh, quite a big drop, actually. So um, I'm going to start looking at making some pyjamas. I say it every year, and I haven't made any yet. I need to make myself some. I need to make my daughter some. And if I've got any left over, maybe my husband. I also need to make his chore jacket on my Make 9 challenge. So... So I think the only thing I made on my Make 9 challenge was the Alusha smock dress, um, which I haven't worn because I don't like it. So <laughs> I might do a follow-up to that one as well because I'm going to alter it. I'm going to take out all the gathers and I'm going to make it more of like a straight dress instead, like my, uh, um, oh, what's she called? <sighs> Blythem... Laura Blytham dress from, the, I'll put it up here. So I'm going to do more like that. It'll have a panel in it, but um, that's okay. Um, and then I'll probably more likely to wear it uh, because at the moment, now I've had a good think about it. Um, it does, doesn't look right. So um, yeah, so I'm going to have a go at that as well. So I might have a, a little quick video on my adjusting it into more wearable pattern and then i'll come back with the pj pants video pj's video for myself and my daughter uh, i'll have a look look through some fabric that i've got in my stash and some patterns that i'm looking to use unfortunately it is now the 16th of april i may have time to make the so april blouse is it um may have time to have a go at that if i think i've got time i'll do another video about what i oh, things i could make as well um i also love to do a video on plus size patterns as well because it's very hard getting patterns to fit me so uh that's some things in the works um i hope you all and i hope you all had good time to sew and catch up with what you want to do um so um yeah um sorry there's a lot of people going past the car so i'm like pausing i'm trying to not look suspicious <laughs> uh or walkers dog walkers <laughs> like, what is she doing in the car why is she faced the wrong way as i'm not facing the ocean <laughs> i'm facing the way out but anyway anyway so i hope you've had uh lots of time to sew for yourselves and i hope to see you in the next video which hopefully will be a bit more interesting <laughs> Okay, thanks as always for your support. Please leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. It really helps me out. Um, even just clicking that like button sends the YouTube algorithm to do something good, I hope. Um, <laughs> and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.